What's going on guys? Welcome back to another daily YouTube video where we cover the market, the content and all the cards we're trading. Today is Wednesday and we were anticipating some sort of gamble SBC all week and it looks like we finally got it. Let's get straight into this video. <clears throat> Firstly we got this Timber card which is a 1 of 2 Future Stars Timber with two alternatives and it's only one squad and it is only requiring an 84 squad and it's a Netherlands player that is needed. So 84s should in theory do well because of this. I did buy quite a few 84s which I did post and they have done well. Let's look on Footbin so it's clearer. There's two alternatives. There's a centre back version and there's a CDM version but I believe they can all play. This one can play only midfields to be fair and this one can play centre back and left back. You either have the midfielder timber or the centre back one. I believe the midfielder one is significantly better mainly due to the fact he is 5'10 which is a bit short for a centre back. In terms of value this is a great value SBC. Some really good stamina, some really good stats, and honestly, for the price, not too bad at all, especially if you have an Eredivisie card to link to this card, which obviously is the issue for a lot of people. We're going to get into that and why that is useful, that this guy is hard to link in a minute. Let's continue on to more of the content we got today. We got this 84 times 20 which is the main thing that's caused a dip on this market. It requires 83 and 84 squad, one team of the week is needed, and two 85s are needed. So as you can imagine, 85s flew. Whichever one that is required, they tend to do the best, and 85s are required, two of them, so 85s blue. As you can see, 84s would have done well overall as well with those requirements. The only other thing we really got today that I'm aware of is Future Stars swaps. Future Stars, Silver Star swaps. We've got this Rodriguez. This guy is a FIFA legend, if you guys know. I will be sadly completing this because I need the token. This is a legend though, so I'm not too mad about that. One token for completing it all, and I believe there's another token for... Winning the three, uh, is that the same token? Oh, it's a different token. You can see it underneath, right? There's one more token right under the amount of games you have to play. But yeah, um, there were some investments I laid, made last night, which I did post very, very late night. 84 is really easy to win on bid for almost 5k. So I just bought like 150 of them quickly on bid. Most of them I sold for 6.9, but a lot of these have sold for 7.9. Maybe they are higher, some are higher, some are lower. Who really knows? And then that's really that. That was a quick little investment I did. I bought like 150 of those. Probably made a good 200k at least, but not too bad for a day at the office, I say. We did also get Team of the Week, which I can show you on the game actually. Let me just quickly show you that. It's not the best Team of the Week, but it's also definitely not the worst. We've definitely had worse Team of the Weeks. Here it is. The main player in this team is Rafinha, who got a decent upgrade, decent looking stats, 4 4, Barcelona. Brazil, decent looking card to be honest. I would take that, but the standout card is of course Hakimi, who is incredibly similar to his other card. This World Cup one. Let's quickly take a look at that and see what's happening to that card on the market right now. It's currently 8pm, so it's two hours after content on a Wednesday. As expected, the difference in stats are not negligible, right? basically no difference, right? So there's no reason for this card to be high and it's getting crushed. This one, there's no reason for this card to get panic sold. So if you see this card low and you want to buy him for his team, for your team, feel free to buy it, in my opinion. But yeah, um, this card is coming down. Maybe by the time you watch this, he's rebounded briefly. This card's going to basically move with this card and remain a tiny bit higher, probably just because it's a cooler looking card, in honesty. Other than that, it's pretty dead. Uh, now getting to the investments, the Future Stars team did take a slight dip today, which is what we've been waiting for. Langa is down to 80k. Uh, Gehi is down to 65. He was actually lower 62. This guy was under 80 at one point. I think that could be a fake bin. I think he's a bit higher now. He's 82. I like this under 80k in honesty. And I like this at like 62. The standout was this guy. Managed to get a few of this card for 105 and lower. Which I really, really like. And um, I also bought a couple Sunsets. I bought some Spencers. I bought some Van de Vend. Zingos. Frank Garcia. And that's basically that. Let me just show you, show you that I did actually buy these cards. A lot of them are on my transfer list right now. And a lot are in my unassigned. And I'm currently 200 cards unassigned almost. So here's a uh, Langa, Ehi, and Ven. Some of those are from before 6 pm. And most of these are from after, as you'll see at the end. Some of these aren't even listed. I think I was getting this 15k? 16k. And he's currently on footbin 16.5. I think this is a really good looking card, and I think he's going to do really well. That's most likely my favorite investment, and I'll get into that in just a minute on why that's my favorite investment. Here's some of the other cards, just to show you, I do have a ton, I have a ton of Spencers to be honest. Spencers is the card I have the most of, I believe. 
this thing is going to do really well out of packs for many reasons which i will describe and i've talked about in many videos and my tiktoks and my youtube shorts so if you're if you're watching those you would have found out yesterday why i like these but i've also posted it in the patreon just to show you real quick i did make this post before 6 p.m these are prices i like to buy these cards this is obviously posted in the patreon if you guys want to follow this this kind of a tip feel free to at your own wish at your own um risk sorry Most of these prices are still pretty accurate i'd say if you want to invest in these your last opportunity to buy these cards will be today when you're watching this video during marquee matchup supply as that is the final supply then these cards should only really rise as there is no more supply coming onto the game if you want to invest in these cards uh thursday marquee matchups you can get some good snipes over the first half an hour 45 minutes if you want to get involved um these aren't ranked in any order they're just ranked from lowest to highest in, in terms of price but yeah i think they all should do pretty well obviously the higher you get the more risk and the lower you get the lower the risk so let's get into my favorite investment and that is van de ben and why is that well first of all he's dutch and who did we just get we just got timber right and you might be thinking okay maybe i don't want uh to get mickey though because he's also a center back right well the difference is the better timber is a center mid he can't actually play center back and if you're getting a very good and cheap budget card like this very very usable stats who are you going to link him to the first dutch card that's going to come to your mind is probably going to be the newest card with 84 pace not too bad at all van de ven i'm going to be stocking up quite heavily on this card under 16.5k is the max i'll pay he has gone lower 16.5k i'm just going to happily pay it now he's an 85 rated fodder too 85 rated fodder is obviously slightly high right now due to the SPC. as we're going to take a look at the fodder real quick but that is my favorite investment by far at 16.5k you will have already seen a short or a tiktok if you um follow me on either of those as i've already posted that last night but yeah this is my favorite investment and by far the lowest risk investment too he's got very good stats and alternatives in this league are much more pricey if you have a look apart from hincapi but hincapi has very bad links that guy does too don't get me wrong but we've just got a very good dutch player to link to the lit is even a much more expensive, right? The lit's other card, 44. This Delit card's low key gonna be a very good card to trade as well, in honesty. I've been lazy listing this second in form quite well for like 5k higher than I buy. I normally like this around 44k. If you want to get involved, I really like that to be honest. People are probably gonna do Timber Timber and um the Lit and the other card here, Van Ven, all together in a little practical in my opinion. I think that's a really good look. So yeah, those are the other centre backs you have, and as you can see, there's no one really anywhere near as good value everything's higher right so can't really go down he's 85 rated fodder let's take a look at the fodder 83s went higher again they're over 2k now 84s went higher they're at 6.5k i picked up all those as i said for around the low 5ks so looking good there getting some 7.9k lazies 15k 15k 16k sorry for the 85s at least they've flown quite nicely 86 is up a little bit nothing crazy the 85s are the play or 84s but i think 85 is a bit more profit I believe the top tier stuff didn't really move. Maybe it's 91s up a tiny bit. These are definitely down. But yeah, the top tier stuff didn't really move. And that's all to do with SPC. The other cards I like, as I've told you many, many times, is Spence. I really like Spence. There's not many other replacements in this league that you can uh, replace him with, basically. You have a look at league on right backs. For value, it's a really good card. Not to mention, English link is very, very important these days, especially with all those English SPCs. So you can see Hakimi is that expensive, so unless you pack Hakimi, which is a different tier player. The next best is Frankowski, who is terrible in comparison stats-wise. Traore, pretty much unlinkable. Fabio is a very decent card. Spence is still better, if I'm being honest, but he's also 63k. So Spence will do good. English links are really, really useful too right now. I really, really like Spence. I'm trying to get him under 22k, 21k. I love it. I think he's going to do really well out of packs. So do a lot of people. So be careful with a potential over-investment. Here we have Hakimi, same old story here with this card. This is another huge and very, very simple investment. Look at this, peaked at 17k, all the way down to 16.5k now. Got heavily over invested, he's going to keep dropping. Probably we will settle around 15-ish to 16k and I'll start picking up quite a few. And he's probably going to go extinct next week if you want a very easy and very low risk play. In all honesty, even at this price, I'll be tempted to pick up a load. Maybe I'll do that after the video. I think that's a very, very good and low risk play. If you want a guaranteed play, this definitely rises at least 1-2k, so you're guaranteed profit. This card will not go down, he's out of packs for an entire week. So those are the three plays I really like. Hakimi, Spence, 
and Van der Ven. Those are my favourite three. Singo could do well as well. He's got the decent stats. However, the only thing I don't love about Singo is the fact there are many alternatives in the league. And it's also a decent couple of alternatives with better links around the same price. While he may have better stats, you have Calabri who's 26k and is Italian and AC Milan. And Toljan who's German. Obviously Sassuolo is not great links. Whereas this guy, he may have the best stats of the lot, you could argue. However, his links are really bad. So getting him on chemistry is going to be an issue there. That's why I don't love him, but I'm sure he still does well. Kalulu managed to pick up some Kalulus all the way down at 105k. I really like that. I'm sure this guy does well out of packs. I'm in no rush to sell these cards. 105k is perfect. If he goes lower, I'll, I'll buy more in honesty. Um, moving on to Sunset. This card's been laser selling really well thanks to new Raquel May. So it's another good look. Another slightly low risk play in honesty. But he's probably just fodder at this point. But that's a bit better than fodder. He's 4 4. I think that's a low key card. I think people are going to be sleeping on that card. I've got a ton of this card. These two, these two, uh, Shekri, I'm not really buying him. Kaludu, I've got a couple. Okay, he is also looking low. Elanga, obviously, you guys know I love my Man United cards for trading. And I think this card's going to be no different. Once again, we saw another dip on this card. He hit 80k, and guess what happened? Bang, rebound. This card seems like it won't be going to 80k again, unless a direct replacement comes. This card has been holding really, really well. And there's clearly a lot of demand for this card. So I would... Be very comfortable buying this 80k if you see this video on Thursday during marquee matchups. I think it's very low risk in honesty compared to what I was thinking before where I thought it could be slightly higher risk. Ren Garcia, no Jordi Alba came, another easy look. If you look at the alternatives in this league, there are no real good left backs at that price. They're extortionate price to be honest. Let's, let's hook this up right now. We go Price, you go La Liga, we got Mendy and Captavia and Alba who obviously didn't get a team of the week so he rose. You've got Captavia Base, who's 60k, and you've got this guy at 17k, who's got Spanish links. A bad club, but Spanish links. Another no-brainer invest investment. In all honesty, there's so many no-brainers in this team. That's why I'm avoiding like Singo, because like the no-brainers in this team for me, a guaranteed profit in my opinion, Garcia, Spence, um, and Van de Ven. Those three, such low risk, such a high reward, such an easy return. You might have to buy more of the other cards, but those are my favorite three. I honestly like them. Hakimi as well is pretty much a no-brainer. There's no way this Hakimi drops anymore. By the time you've seen this video, he will have already bottomed out. And he'll just go up, up, and up as he'll be extinct. This card is coming nowhere near to discard price. So yeah, other than that, that is going to be the video for today. Today, when you watch this video, it's going to be mark you matchup rewards. So you're going to have your final opportunity to get in on any of these cards. And probably a final dip on a lot of those cards. As the supply will be finished. Make sure you're sniping, make sure you're buying. I've, ch I've told you every single card I'll be buying. There's not going to be a different card I'll be buying. Favorites obviously Hakimi, Spence, and um, who was the final card? God damn it. Uh, and Aven. They're all very low risk plays too, and that's why I like them. Because low risk, high reward, and obviously, even if the market does go bad, those cards can barely drop. So you can buy the most too. So someone like me, who I know I'm not on a small budget, but six mil feels like a small budget to me now, the return is better than what it would be if I bought just a few Alangas, even if Alanga goes up higher, if you understand what I'm talking about. But yeah, other than that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. Join our free trading Discord. Links in the description there. If you want to subscribe to the Patreon to get the most amount of tips and see the most premium tips just like these, where I give you specific buy prices and sell prices. No sell prices on this post, but this is just a plan before six. Then feel free to join. The link's in the description for that. And other than that, I stream on Twitch twice a day at 2 p.m. and 10 p.m. UK time. Playing a bit of Hogwarts on the late, late night stream if you're interested in any of that. I know a lot of you aren't, but don't worry, I'm here for FIFA and trading as well. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to the Twitch channel and Ricker21 on all socials, as you can see here. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a great day, and make yourself some good old coins.